Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Well, <clears throat> let's explain the view you're looking at here. This is the passenger side of the Ford uh, 302. And what I want you to focus on as I do this test is this guy right here, where my finger's pointing, this brass uh, plunger that's kind of sticking out here. And I also want you to point your attention when I say rocker arms, I want you to look at these two rocker arms right here. Now, <clears throat> A big confusion. Well, let me give you the backstory on this motor in case you haven't been following my channel. Um, to get this uh, engine up and running, I did a top dead center bike feel with my finger like the old timers do, and it's obviously uh, not the right way to do it. So save the comments. I know that's why I'm doing this video. Um, got the motor running right, but it just wasn't. No matter what I did, uh, I couldn't get it set up, and I knew I had to set timing the right way. So that's what this video is going to be about. Um, this is going to be, I'll probably do this in a few video series, but this is going to be basically locating top dead center. So what, what top dead center essentially is, um, and if you found my video, you probably already know what it is, but it's basically when the number one cylinder, which is this one right here, the closest one to the passenger side, number one on a 302, when this is at its highest, highest, highest point, that would be the top dead center. It's as highest it can go, and it's on the compression stroke, not on uh, the intake stroke, which is where you'll hear like uh, 180 degrees out. So I want to visually demonstrate how to actually find top dead center with the proper tools, and then I'll tell you about the tools that I'm using. So if I can direct your attention to this brass uh, top dead center locator uh, and these rocker arms, I'm going to go ahead and show you. Now right now, it's almost at top dead center. And I'm going to show you that. And then I'm also going to show you, let me see if I can get it all in frame. I'm not sure if I can. I want to get that rotor in frame also. I really can't get it unless I go higher. Let me reset this camera up here. Okay, here's a much better angle. Um, what I want to direct your attention to is the distributor rotor, which is here. These two rocker panel, rocker arms, rocker panels, Jesus. Rocker arms here, and then also this brass top dead center locator tool here. Now, this is going to move up and down because it's directly in contact with the piston. So, let me go ahead and rotate the engine now clockwise, which is the way a Ford motor turns, is clockwise. And it's gonna, I'm going to show you how you know when you're at top dead center compression stroke and 180 degrees out. That's the first lesson here. So let me go ahead, and all I'm doing is just rotating the motor. So you'll see already as I kind of turn clockwise, you see this, you'll see this brass tool going down. And now it's lowering. So now we're going to go to 180 degree stroke out. So this is going to be um, a non-compression stroke. So let it, let's let it rotate around. And as we get around, usually around here, you're going to see this kind of coming up and, you're, and it's going to give you a false positive. You're going to think that's top dead center. Now also notice these rockers are starting to move, which tells you you're not on compression. So never a good idea to set TDC when those rockers are in motion. There you go. Now you can see how that brass uh, tool is starting to pop out, almost like a turkey thermometer there. And right about there is its highest point. And look where our, our rotor is, way down here. This is a no-no. We want to be somewhere up around here, which is number one cylinder location on the, on the actual cap. So this is your false positive. And this is where a lot of guys will set their timing. They won't know it's, on, it's not on compression stroke, and they'll have a, a, a really bad backfiring engine and everything else if it'll even start. So let's kind of keep going around here. And also notice you're gonna hear like a hissing noise when I get closer to top dead center. Both of our valves are closed at this point. It's getting ready to become compression stroke. Hear that hiss? Hissing. Boom. Now it's starting to come out. And if my wrench doesn't slip off my crank bolt, I can actually show you true TDC, or as good a TDC as you're going to get with this tool. This tool is meant to get you in the ballpark. 
There it is. There it is. Now it's starting to fall back down. So if we look at how I had initial timing set on this engine just without using a timing light, let's back off the engine a little bit. That's where it starts to fall. And all I'm doing is basically looking at that brass tool right about there is going to be its highest point. Number one, when aligned properly, number one is here. And I'll make a mark on my actual distributor to show you, but I'm going to hold my finger here where it's supposed to be. And we're way off. So just that right there is really bad timing. That's gonna that's what is causing the engine to run like absolute garbage. So just looking at that, we know where we need to start. So that's a good baseline. Use one of these tools, it's a great tool. But what you're really gonna want to run with after this stage. is one of these. Now this is by Crane Cams. This is a 14 millimeter long thread piston stop. Now what this is going to do is basically stop the piston dead in his tracks at a certain point in the rotation. So what, what I'm going to do on the next clip is show you with this installed and the, and the harmonic balancer with the timing pointer how to actually find true, D, true TDC on the harmonic balancer and make your mark for zero. That's going to that's gonna be the absolute baseline for any timing setting with the timing light. So this is going to be your next step in the game and I'll do that on, a next, on another video. But that's how I wanted to illustrate true TDC. When you're 180 degrees out, your rocker, your rocker arms are moving and they're not on a compression stroke. And you're also going to be able to you're also going to be able to notice it clear as day if you actually have your cap pulled off your distributor when it's pointed when the um, when the uh, uh, rotor is actually pointed at you. So no, no, you always want to make sure it's pointing somewhere in the vicinity of where number one should be. So there's a lot of different ways guys do this and gals do this, um, but that's going to be your most surefire method. You're going to want to yank that valve cover, watch those rockers and get an actual TDC tool that's going to be in motion and give you a little bit of a hissing noise when that runs. And let me show you that, that tool I'm using. This is a wonderful tool made in the USA. It's a TDC indicator made right here in the USA. It comes in this really cool, looks like almost like a flare, uh, orange uh, cardboard holder. It's 29 bucks on Amazon. Definitely buy this because if you're an amateur, you obviously don't have these tools already. Um, don't just go and buy you one of these stops because you're not going to really be able to watch this on true uh, compression stroke. So it's always good to use it as a learning experience too, just as I have. You want to watch that thing move up and down and that'll get you in the ballpark of where you're going to start to lower this. So now once I know I'm at pretty much TDC, I'm going to rotate it a little bit clockwise to get it to go down a little tiny bit. I'm going to set this tool. I'm going to draw a line on my balancer where it stops. I'm going to rotate the engine around back the other way. I'm going to draw a line on the balancer where it stops. I'm going to find the center and that is true TDC on the balancer. So I'll illustrate that in the next video, but I wanted to definitely show you guys this is the way to go. And I will, just for uh, demonstration purposes here, let me go ahead and take you off the tripod. And yeah, I know my videos are very long winded, so I do apologize for anyone that's looking for a quick video. But if you're in, uh, if you're in the timing game here, I wouldn't suggest rushing anything. This just unscrews by hand. It's got a nice O-ring on it that'll let you know that you're bottomed out. And this is the actual tool, which is really awesome. You can see this is the business end that we were looking at. This is the end that actually threads into the engine and this is a 14 millimeter designed for 302 motors. And you'll see that all it is is just a piece of brass that comes in contact with the piston. It's got a spring on it. So it's simple. As that piston goes up and down, it's gonna show you an indicator on here. And this little indicator, I'm holding it, has little lines on it. And that'll tell you basically as it rises and falls, what to look at when you're seeing if it's going up or going down. So that's your tool. 
that's what you want to do to start finding your base, you know, your base, base, base TDC. And then your next step is using a piston stop. And you're going to be drawing on your harmonic balancer, which is way down in there. And that's when you're going to start using your timing pointer. So if I can kind of show you, yeah, I got no light. That's where you're going to be next. So thanks for watching the video. I'm sorry it's eight minutes long, but hopefully this did teach someone out there actually how to find, you know, TDC. Thanks for watching.